Guys, hello, oh my god, I feel like it's been so long since I've actually sat down and just filmed a main channel video. I'm so sorry that it's been forever. <sighs> wow. What's up you guys, it's Adrian Finch, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that I have been absent. It has been so long since I've sat down and actually filmed a main channel video. Oh my God, things have just gone crazy in quarantine. I started making TikToks, the whole weird thing. So I'm so sorry. Thank you for being here. I'm back with videos, hopefully one video a week, every single weekend. So subscribe here if you're new and I promise a lot of awesome content coming soon. So in today's video, I'm literally just gonna sit down with you guys and reorganize and declutter my phone because it's gotten a little messy. There are tons of apps that I don't use anymore that I'm realizing it's too cluttered. There are just some things going on. And as you guys know, I like to keep my phone nice and minimal and aesthetic and not cluttered. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna basically declutter and reorganize my phone. I know there are gonna be some bigger tasks that I kind of come across, like cleaning out my camera roll. Like that's obviously not something that I can sit here and do in one sitting because it's gonna take like 8,000 years. So I'll just make a note of that so that I go do that off camera. Um, because I need to. I just don't know when. So without further ado, you guys, we're gonna just start decluttering my phone. Give this video a thumbs up if you like iPhone videos and let me know any suggestions for other videos down below and let's get into it. Okay, so the first step that we need to do is delete the apps that I don't use. So how I had it organized before originally was this like shelving technique. So I have basically the folders on the left and then of each like category and then the three most frequently used apps in each category on the right. I think this is like by far the best way to organize a phone. I may change it because I'm a little bit sick of it, but this is what I had before and I recommend it if you guys like that. So as you can see, the front page has gotten a little cluttered. Those bottom row things were just like random apps I downloaded. And then within these folders, there are just so many things that I don't use. So let's just go right on through. So the top four, I definitely use all the time. The editing stuff I use, but let's go into this folder and see. So here's the issue that I kind of run into. Snapseed, Afterlight, Over, I don't use those, but I'm like, do I want them off my phone? Cause what if I want to use them sometime? You know what I mean? But I feel like in the spirit of Marie Kondo of only keeping things that spark joy. I'm basically just the fact that the reason I'm a hoarder is because if I'm ever debating like maybe I shouldn't, then I don't delete it, but like I should delete it. Same with getting rid of clothes in my closet. Like if I'm hesitating, I should just throw it away. So I'm gonna get rid of Snapseed, bye bye, and Afterlight, just don't use it. Ick monkey, I feel like I need that on my phone, but I don't use this over app, so I'm gonna delete that, wow. It already feels good. I do use Cooney Cam, but I'm gonna move this actually to the front of this folder, hello. Lens distortions, I don't use, but I'm gonna click on it and see. Oh, these light hits are so cool. When would I need fog in a photo, but also how cool that I can add it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, I have story art and I have stories edit. I just don't really post things like this. Okay, I'll keep it for now. Why do I even have Tumblr on my phone? No, goodbye Tumblr. Okay, this app is super sick and I definitely need to figure out how to use this more because this might end up being my new calendar app. Like I'm super into the Apple one just because I'm used to it, but I might be into this one instead. It's so sad, this whole travel folder is like very irrelevant right now. App in the air, what was this? Honestly, this is good because it's kind of reminding me of all the stuff I have on this phone. So I got rid of the apps, sorry, that took a while. And also as I was going through, I realized how messy my phone is. So I need to reorganize. Next will be to get rid of like my badges or text messages, like any alerts. I'm just gonna go ahead and say right now that I can't really do that because that's 38 text messages and I'd rather go through them off camera. So I'm gonna skip that step for now. All right, so the next step is choosing a new background. So I couldn't really decide what I wanted. I wanted something that looked really cool and different, but I ended up going with this photo of me that I just think it's not like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't love the idea of having myself as my background, but I want like a plain thing that is of a good memory for me. And this was my Croatia trip. And so by looking at it, like I know that it is Croatia and it makes me happy. So I'm gonna try putting that as my background, but first I wanna add a little bit of 
glitz and glam to it. So I'm using this app called Glitty and I'm basically going to just open up the photo. This is the brush and I basically can just add glitter. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so that's what I did to it for now, and we're just gonna see what this looks like. Ooh, very cool. Ah, yes, it did exactly what I wanted, which was to have this gold line be like right above the dock. I actually think that looks pretty sick. Okay, then I'm gonna do one more thing, and I'm actually going to pull this photo into Instagram stories and kind of draw a quote. Today is a good day. There we go, save. Okay, so now comes the fun part of actually rearranging my apps to make this work. So first of all, this is kind of nice. I actually, a long time ago, messed up and somehow ended up with this blank screen at the beginning. I think I just moved all my apps over, but this is actually perfect because this can be a good jumping off point for where we're gonna begin. So here's what I'm actually thinking. And that is, I'm thinking of putting all of these apps that I actually use into one calendar or one folder. And then these are like roughly in the same places. Maybe I'll call this daily. So then let's imagine that we put this whole folder on the first page. So then I wanna think about my doc. And I'm thinking of replacing these apps. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of thinking inside my head here to try to figure out what exactly I wanna do. Obviously, my phone is gonna be necessary on this page. YouTube, Spotify. Like, these are the only ones that are really necessary on the first page. I kinda like that. That's cute. I actually really like that. So here's all my like daily things and then YouTube, phone, Spotify, and then down below, messages, Gmail, TikTok, Instagram. Okay, so then my next page, I think what I'm gonna do is keep the shelving technique, but I need to obviously rearrange some of these. So I'm gonna do those right now, I'll be right back. Okay, I think that I finally got the organization down the way I like it. So let's run through it. All right, so here is my home screen. So what I have is this daily folder in the upper left, and that was like everything that was on my original home screen. So easy access, just one little page of this folder. I think it looks very clean, and I kind of put the apps sort of like in the general direction on my screen that they were before. So I'm like, oh, Waze was like upper right, so you know it won't feel that different to like find them. Then I have YouTube, phone, Spotify, down here, messages, Gmail, TikTok, Instagram. I don't know, I can't tell you why I chose that order, but these are all the ones that I wanted easily accessible, and I just think it looks cool to switch up what's on the dock. Then we swipe over and I'm back to the shelving method, but I did switch a couple things around. I added some new shopping apps like Nasty Gal and Misguided, and I have Victoria's Secret Pink, and I just kind of like updated these apps. Amazon I obviously use all the time. Then I have my editing, so these are all my iPhone editing, or my Instagram picture editing app, and then the three that I use the most often. Although honestly lately, I've been not using Lightroom as much. So actually, I'm gonna switch color tone and Lightroom because I've been using color tone a lot. So I'm actually switching those two. So I have my editing apps, then I have my Instagram and YouTube planning. Those really haven't changed. Unum, Airtable, Unfold, I still use all those. Although I probably use, I don't use Unfold that much anymore. Oh well, then I have my food, then I have my money and my social media. Those were before on the third page, but I realized that doesn't really make sense. So here I have them all right here, which is awesome and like right where I can see them so I won't forget. And then on the final page is kind of all the rest of the stuff. So I have my work folder. So then I have my fitness and wellness. Yep, that all makes sense. Travel, I never really use this anymore, but that's what I have. Then I have my watch and read and then I have music. Extras are like all the other apps that kind of come on the iPhone and stuff like that. Lights, those are like these lights I can control. And games. And that is my phone. I think it looks really, really cute. So guys, that is my new phone organization. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below your favorite way to organize your phone and I will be sure to be right back at you with some new videos. I will not wait so long this time, I promise. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.